Hey everyone, welcome to Thrifted Thursday. My name is Sammy. This is Unicorn Dust Designs. And boy, do I have some amazing finds to show you today. It's an eclectic array, as, as per usual. Hi, Lisa. I got all of your order right over there, just waiting to be sent to you. So I can't wait for your paint order tomorrow, and then I can ship that on out to you guys. I... Let's see. We got like a minute, I think. And then I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, just so you guys know, I'm streaming on Facebook and YouTube. So if you are chatting on uh, YouTube, you're not going to see Facebook and vice versa. Um, I do have a sick baby upstairs. My husband is attending to her. Um, so you might hear her cry every now and then. Um, it started with a basic cold, then to an ear infection, then to... Um, pink eye and she's been taking medicine, but, um, she's still cranky. So, um, sorry, I might have to leave early if she's, um, unconsolable. Sorry, you guys. Hello, my friends. Yay. You got your recycled papers. You're going to love them. And I, Oh, dang it. I got a, jeez. you know what? I should have counted that. Wow, you guys, it's a mess. Did not get any sleep last night, and I just got new papers, and I did not upload them to the site, and I did not write down how many I got, so that's fun. Oh, hi, Lisa. Thank you so much. I hope she feels better soon, too. She's starting to. The medicine is, is working fast, but she still is, like, super crabby, which, I mean, of course she would be. So we're going to go ahead and hop into this, you guys. My link is in the description box if you want to shop any of the finds. They are already live. I'm going to tell you what I got it for. Um, I don't know what I listed it for. I don't write that down. And then if I'm keeping anything to like DIY or just for home decor, I will let you guys know. So I will show you the first thing that I'm keeping for myself. You guys, this was $4 and it's a hand carved wood nativity. And it is gorgeous. I love. Oh, no. Thank you, lady. Um, thank you so much for pointing that out. Hold on. Thank you, Erin. That is supposed to be a draft because I was looking into it and I did not know how much to put it for. Thank you so much for pointing that out. Okay. Okay. So, um, so I scored this for $4. I was really shocked. It was only $4 and I absolutely love it. Grandson was sick with a sinus infection last week. Pink eye. I know she has it in both eye. Her right eye is worse, which is weird because her, um, ear infection is on the left. So I found that for $4. I was super excited. I don't know how long this is going to last you guys, um, but everything is listed. I found this nativity scene, which I could not leave behind because the colors and the glaze were just absolute perfection. Look at how beautiful. And there is not, at least to my knowledge, any chips. I mean, nothing wrong with this piece. And I did spend $10 on it, but... <laughs> I could not help it. I wish the lighting was better because it is so beautiful. I'm like, and I really wish I knew where to put things on the laptop. I wasn't even going to mess around with the phone today. You'll see in the listing, you'll see the coloring. It is so, so pretty and well done. And like, even like the hands like aren't chipped on the baby Jesus or any of the characters, which is pretty rare, but um, I did pay $10 for that, but I was like, mm, that's a pretty gorgeous one. So I found this little Victorian baby carriage. You guys, is this not the cutest? And I think it, I don't want to break it. I'm not doing it. I believe this actually goes down, but I'm just like not going to even mess with it. Look at the wheels on there. So stinky. And the red is like a deep red and it has like black in it. Loving it. And it was $1.98 at Salvation Army. Isn't that so cute? Just for some decor. 
that is adorable. I actually, not that you guys care about these, but don't skip out on children's books at the, um, the thrift stores. If you got little ones in your life, I found all, like, I, I thought they were brand new, but these Olivia books, they were orange tag. So I think they were 50%. I think they cost like less than a dollar. And these look so brand new. Hi, Kim. Hi, Sharon. Sin, Valerie, Claudia. I get in trouble every time I go thrift in two, girl. And then I got this one. And they're like in perfect, perfect condition. Like, and it's like they get over things so dang fast, you know, that it's like, why are you going to pay? What was this regular price? Doesn't have it on that one. $19.99. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Connie. I've already bought several books for my granddaughter. Yep. I got this one. Look at that. And these were, I think, $2. They were 50% off at some other place. But all of like their books were 50% off. So I thought that that was a good price. And Montgomery loves, loves books. I was there yesterday and found a beautiful leather bag for $15. Yes. Hey, Kim. I wish I was thrifting with you tomorrow, girl. Sharon snagged a lot of the hymnals, you guys. So when I show you those, they're going to be gone. And I'm not going to lie. I kept one for myself because it was from the 1800s. Wasn't, wasn't going to part with that. You guys know my book obsession. I got this just to put in the booth. It was $1.24 because we went, my dad and I went on Monday. So it was a 50% off tag. And then the pink tags were $1.24. So I grabbed this. It's like perfect. And it was originally $7.99. So for $1.24, I could put that for $3.95 in my booth and still make good money off of it. That makes me so happy, Kim, that I could inspire you. And you keep pushing, girl. You keep pushing and surviving. Hi, Denise. All right. You guys are going to be like, what the H-E double hockey stick, Sammy? But um, I got this to DIY. I thought, you know what? Can we make this not so creepy? I don't know. But it was $2.50. My poor baby. I promise my husband's up there with her and my dad and the kids. Um, I found these. Okay. These are antique. These two are antique brass glass pill containers. And they are so gorgeous. They were $2.99 each. And no joke, you guys, it blows my mind. So I was doing my research and I was trying to look these up. I found a similar one. It didn't have the same like etching on the brass, but literally looked identical on antique farmhouse, $47. And they were sold out. $47. Do you see how, how small this is? People paid $47 for this. And they sold out of it. Woo! Goodness, baby. But Lisa, if you're on, this reminded me maybe of something your dad could keep your mom's wedding ring in. But I do have another one to show and then one that's going to be in um, another haul. So I found two of those. There's going to be two of those available. And then I found this one, which actually the only thing, it didn't say it was a pill bottle. It said it was like a keepsake glass container. And again, the brass and that starburst on the bottle. And do you see how the glass is paneled? And this was $2.99 as well. Hi, Colleen. Hi, Jody. So those are all listed. Again, I have two of the rectangular ones and then one of the oval ones, and I'm not charging $47 for them. Um, I am going to DIY this one. This was another $1.24 piece. I hate that I keep on wanting to go close to you guys. I could just move up the computer. That would, that would be, that would be helpful. 
So I got this and it does look good, but it's not like it's dirty. It's like super dirty and you could tell places where like it's just been scratched. So I figured, you know what, we are going to paint this and see if we could just like bring it up a notch. And this was one of the $1.24 um, finds. I wish they were bigger. I was thinking a Q-tip holder. Oh, that would be cute. You're so fancy, Sharon. Hi, Beverly. How are you, girly? All right. I found these. I actually found like three sets of sugar and creamer, a sugar creamer set. And I did not realize that, but this one I paid three. So $5 total. And it is just a pure white, beautiful creamer and sugar bowl. And look at the cute details around there. And then it's the same. And this is by Newcastle Jackson. So super cute combo. If you're somebody that loves the pure whites, this is going to look good. And if somebody doesn't buy it, I might keep it because I got this inspiration picture from Pinterest. And now I want to do something with my kitchen and like the corner. We have like a, it used to be a utility garage. I think that's what you guys told me it was called. And we took that out when we um, took all of the backsplash down. And now it's just like super deep into there and i saw this picture on pinterest with big pictures and like a piece of copper behind it was just beautiful so all right um i might as well just show you all of the creamer sets <laughs> i went a little crazy so this one is traditions holiday celebration by christopher radko and this one is gorga i let me show you the actual image on it Look at how cute that is for Christmas. I love the spout and the handle on this. And I love, it's more simple, you know, like there's not a lot going on. It's a Christmas tree with some presents. That's it. Is this the one that actually still had sugar in it? And then you could see that one's lined. And the image is on both sides of both of them. This one, I paid $6.50 for the set. And I I don't know what it was with creamers and stuff, but I mean, people that use them and love decorating for Christmas, I think these are going to be a great, great buy. So I have that one. And then I have an older one. And this one has crazing in it. It's another Christmas one. It's super cute. This one actually says happy holidays and the image is only on one side. So you can see that. And I don't, you guys in the, um, in the listing, I put like the picture of the crazing so you can see it. Oh, let's see. Can you probably, oh, there you go. See the crazing happening. And then this one has the holly and berries and then the children at the christmas tree and again this one has a lot you could see of crazing on it but it was beautiful and to me that just shows that somebody loved it and you can go on amazon and stuff and buy the little sugar spoons very easily if you want this to be of some use or you might have some too Oh, that's awesome. Deborah said she just bought a book of songs of 1923, the year my dad was born. Jody's obsessed with anything Christmas. I think we're going to go all out this Christmas. I bought, if you guys did not see my uh, reel, I bought this awesome Christmas tree from the booth and I need to show you guys it lit up. Oh, thank you so much, Patty. I appreciate it. All right. What else? Okay. I got, I got a lot of stuff. All right. I'll stick with, I'll finish the Christmas stuff off because I did. Oh, you guys look at these, look at these and all of my listings. I have like the full information on them, but look at how beautiful these tumbler cups are. You could call them wine cups. It does not matter. They're gorgeous. And I mean, after they're washed and shined up, they're going to look even better. 
they look kind of um, not blurry, but just not crystal clear because it took me hours to just get the dang tape and stickers off. But these are so, look at that. Do you see the frosted image? And it goes around all of them. And I just thought they were so unique with the weighted glass bottoms. And I paid $2 each for these. And these I feel like would be good um, for wine or eggnog or apple cider or something like that for two or like you and your bestie come over. These would be so cute. I only found two of these though, but I didn't care because they're so pretty. I can look at those. And it's, oh, it's stamped on the bottom and it looks like a little, see that? Like a cursive L. And then it's like um, Libby something glass. He would have been a hundred years old. Yeah. Libby Arby's winter scene. Oh, they would. Sue Ellen said those would be cute with bottle brush trees. Okay. The other glasses. So these I'm selling separately because there's seven of them. And I didn't know if somebody exactly would want seven, but my dad actually found these and they are beautiful. The height, the curve, he's calling them eggnog glasses. Hi, Mercedes. And the details in them are so, if I hosted Christmas, I would have kept these because they're going to look so beautiful in a hutch. They're going to look pretty by like an eggnog bowl. And they actually have different scenes. So like this Christmas tree on the front is whiter. And then there is another Christmas tree, which is a little smaller. Is that right? Did I have the right ones? Yeah, that one's bigger. And then they have stars etched in the glass. They're just absolutely gorgeous. And there are seven of these. And I believe that I, I believe I paid $1.99 each for those as well. And then the last, I think Christmas, no, there's two more Christmas items. If you got any children that are getting married for, you know, around Christmas time, this is going to be the cutest thing, or maybe, I don't know, something cute, but you guys, this is a porcelain ornament and it is a trinket box as well. Imagine getting proposed to on Christmas and this is on your tree and then the top opens. There's the wedding ring in there. Oh my gosh. I saw this. I think I paid $4 for it. It still even has the original tag on it. And you guys, it is so pretty. It's so gorgeous. And I'm just like, I don't know, maybe somebody Somebody would need a trinket box for Christmas. I am silently crying and whimpering over here. I'm in Canada and can't buy anything. All the Christmas stuff. I'm sorry, Jody. I'm so sorry. So that is still has the original tag. It's vintage and it's it's awesome. The next thing, my dad was like, I cannot believe you found that. It's so beautiful. You guys, look at this white. I, I'll, I would say like more ivory poinsettia basket. You guys, this thing is beautiful. It's stunning. And per, there are no chips, which I think is, is that a chip? No, that's the leaf, which is out of this world that none of these flowers have chips on them. And like, look at the bow up top. I wish my daughter's boyfriend would propose. It's been almost two years. Oh, girl. With a big diamond. Yep. Tiffany said that her husband proposed to her on Christmas Eve. I do shop for clothes at the thrift store. Look at that. I have a favorite pair of old navy jeans. And every time I'll look for those old navy um, pieces. But. Yeah, so this is so pretty. It is ivory. It almost looks like a Lennox piece just because of the gold features on it. And this little baby is heavy. And you got the woven basket. It's just, it's so, so beautiful. And if you guys don't buy it, 
I'll probably keep it. Oh, this is what that would look so pretty on our kitchen counter with the backsplash with some like white ivory pitchers and then some red poinsettias so that that would pop. Oh, okay. If it's not, if it's not sold, I'm buying it. Um, I was so tempted with that basket, but I was unsure if it would survive. Sharon, you should know me by now, girl. Okay. I wrap and I wrap and I wrap and I use popcorn. So, but I mean, you don't have to buy it because then that means I could keep it. At least I listed it. All right. Bye, Tina. Thanks for coming on. Okay. So I think that was the, oh, no, 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 no. I guess, well, I do have one more Christmas and then the other one could be every day. I found this neutral little glaze. This was hand done. Um, snowman and he was $3, but I loved his neutral colors. I feel like, you know, not everybody is traditional when it comes to Christmas with red and green. So I loved him and he would look so cute, like in a bathroom or on a set of books. So many uses for this little guy or with your plants. My daughter is finally getting married after dating for 10 years. It's going to be a great party. That is exciting. That is so exciting. Congratulations, Ruthie. All right. This is the one. So I found her and again, shocked that her wings weren't chipped or anything. And I almost didn't list her because I think she's beautiful. And I love things that can fit into any decor. And she is gorgeous. And she is holding her prayer hands. And then her dress is like wisping wisping is that a word Whis whispery it's it's a uh, flowing in the air <gasps> thank you guys sharon said i know i have never had anything broken yes you know how much wrapping bubbles and peanuts i have <laughs> built up from sammy hey i rather use my my theory is i rather spend more money wrapping that thing than it getting back to you and being damaged and then me having to refund more than i would have just spent doing it the right way the first time <gasps> um so yeah i found this and i want to say she was four dollars maybe but again, these are a lot of these pieces, you guys, are things that I told myself I was going to list. If you guys didn't pick them up, I was going to keep them. The only thing that I did not list was this one because I was like, nope, nobody's getting a chance at this one because I love it. I just got my teapot and plates today from Sammy and they were wrapped like crazy. Y'all welcome. It's like Christmas, you guys. All right. I found another one of these clocks, Jenny, that's usually on here. She's on more of the crafting um, premieres, but I've actually found one of these before, but it was different. I love the claw feet on them. And then there is the face of the clock. I'm not going to do anything to this clock. And then it is just battery operated. I will say that when I took the tape off, because they like to, stick tape on everything it took a little bit of the paint with it so keep that in mind this one was $4.99 look at are these supposed to be faces they look like faces don't they that totally looks like a face those are called tiger feet that's cool those those look like faces okay I found this set of glasses and I don't know why I was so, I don't know, pulled to them. I, I don't know why. And everything that I looked up, it said that they were USSR beer mugs. Um, I don't know how accurate that is because there is another, see they, they sound like crystal. So there was another line and they're even stamped, but I cannot read what the stamp is because there was another fancy line. I can't remember it of crystal, but I just wasn't sure. So I just posted them for whatever I thought that they would be valued at. So I want that clock. It says, I think it's sold. 
You need a camel back clock, a broken one preferred. I want to make a seasonal shadow box. Oh, I'll be on the lookout, Deborah. So I got these. I don't know why to me they look like mid-century modern, but I don't know. They spoke to me. And I'm pretty sure they're crystal because they ring when you flick them. Like when I have them. Hear the ring? It's not like a thud. So, like the angel is glass. Oh, shoot. Can you hear it? Can't hear that ring. Okay. I paid $1.99 each for those. I got these with you guys. So these are actually, it's just people were so fancy. And I say that all the time, but seriously, people were so fancy back then. These are actually card playing coasters. So, sorry, John went to go help one of the kids and now Montgomery is not having it. So they have like, see the diamond, the club, the spade, my poor baby. She is not having it. The heart. And there's two of the hearts right there. And then one of them, you guys, does have a little chip. And see, it says coasters, but when I initially saw them, I thought of the tea bag holders. And so you guys could use them however you want, but I sold them in the complete set. And they're also rimmed in gold as well. So I saw these as tea bag holders, not coasters. So crazy how fancy people were. Um, I found this Macasa bowl, which I have been loving Macasa. And usually I find it the clear frosted glass. So I thought it was very unique that I came across this one. Isn't that pretty? It's, did I post this? Did I? It was $1.99. Maybe I, I, sh I don't know. Can you tell me if I posted this, Erin? It's a Mikasa bowl and it is the um, Japan. I forget what, um what pattern this is, but I love Mikasa and I loved this Japan print. Okay. So there's that, there's that. We're almost done. All right. I found this cute Japan, um, teapot and cup, and then it's stamped on the bottom has a bamboo holder. And I want to say I got this for $6, I think. And there's a print on that side and that side. You guys, why do I have to love glass so much? She's getting feisty. All right. Look at how awesome this hand-painted whiskey jug is. And just the the painting itself of the cotton is just so cool and it's very well done. It is signed and the whiskey jar itself is actually in really good condition. You are so welcome, Donna. Look at how beautiful this hand painting is. They even like did a glaze over them. I thought this was so great. The whiskey bottle is from USA. I just thought that was so unique. And I did pay $10 for this. But when something is hand done like that, especially paintings, I don't mind paying a little more. I found this old, old picture. Um, and it was $4. And you guys, this thing has been loved Loved, loved, loved. Do you see? I mean, there is damage to this, but when I saw it, I thought rustic, I thought farmhouse, I thought neutral. And I love the glaze pattern on here and everything about it. It just looks like, what is that? What is that brand that opened up in LA and they only open up like once a month and they sell pottery? You know, anybody? Anybody know? And it's like crazy expensive. 
Sammy got the square trinket dish. Good. I'm so happy. And grab the nativity. Looks like those USSR glasses were produced in 1965. See, that's what I thought too. I thought they were, but then there's just the, the other ones. They didn't say anything about crystal and those rings. So I don't know. But this is another one that if it's not bought, I might, I might keep it for myself. I don't know why I'm into the neutrals, but it was just very loved. Like somebody used the crapola out of this. And I thought it was cool. And this one is, it's ATT Wear USA. So $4 for that. I found this one too for seven. And this is some kind of terracotta clay something you could see on the inside. Well, it looks like a black hole to you guys, but it's orange, like terracotta. And then somebody did some kind of painting over the top of this piece. But y'all, people are paying big bucks. When I look this up just to see like a reference guide, these things are ridiculous at high-end stores. It's insane. No, it's, um, I'll have to think about it. I forget what it's called. I ended up keeping this. So obviously old coffee pot, but somebody put this coffee thing over it and you can like scrape it off. But the silver was like, scratching with it. So I was like, you know what, maybe this might be a good opportunity to like get a transfer and, you know, take this off, then put a transfer coming up it and give it maybe like new decorative life. No, it's not M McCoy. Let me see. L A pottery. Um, store open. Sorry, I'm I'm looking. I like how uh Home Depot comes up. It is not popping up on here. When I know, I will let you guys know. It is like a super, super high end, and they like import everything from different countries and stuff like that. But okay, so I'll probably upcycle this. It's like super, super scratched up. So I don't, and there's no real markings on it. So I don't, I don't think I'll be hurting anybody's feelings. This is another piece. Hey, Janice, if it has not already sold, I might keep it and put it away for spring. So it is a gravy boat. And it comes with both of these pieces. Sorry, I'm trying to get. But look at how beautiful. Look at how beautiful that print is. And it goes all the way around. Look at that. Even on um, the handle. And then the, um, and like the scalloping on the side. And then the um, bottom plates. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Hi, Cheryl. Thank you, girl. And this is a Sheraton um, made in England by Johnson Brothers. So this is so, so pretty. Like, yeah. I would probably put some florals in it not succulents uh, during spring i'll probably i said i like yeah. <laughs> i gotta make sure you know nobody buys it i'll give it i give it 24 hours but i think this one was six dollars total because they chart they um they charged for the top and the bottom separately so okay i found these vintage wood plaques and they are cute little birds. This one does have a cardinal. And that one was $1.99. And then we have this one, which I also spent $1.99 on. And the bigger one. 
and they do have some flaws. They're older, but I love them. I really like this. This, this, blah, blah. these collaged would look really good in like a green bathroom with wood accents. Can I just decorate? Can I just decorate everything? Oh, Erin said she just bought that one, the Cardinal one. Um, I got this just to DIY. It's like stainless steel. It was two bucks. I didn't think it was like anything too fancy, but I thought it could look really cool with a pots transfer on it. So I got this just to DIY. It was super inexpensive. Like I said, it's just stainless steel. I don't think it would hurt anybody's feelings. I found a copper rooster mold. I have not found a lot of copper lately. This one does have some pitting, which makes it even better, in my opinion. And then it has the hanger as well. And then the mold part itself is really clean. And I got that one for $4.99. I got this like amber glass crushed um, cross. Look at that. It's so pretty. It's shinier in person. I love the amber in there. It's so pretty. It has a hanger. Yeah, I like it. That was $2.99. And then I got this out thinking that because I have used this for like personal home decor and um, it's listed you guys on the website. I like put it, I was like, Oh, I'm going to add that to the thrift haul. I could let go of it now. And I guess it was there the whole time. This is a Thomas O'Brien. It's great quality. And this thing is humongous. You could see how big this is. This thing is huge. So I put, and this is going to look beautiful filled with ornaments and like some, um, pine leaves so many options okay we're almost done you guys i just have the hymnals um oh and then this teapot and saucer which it was gorgeous so here we go if only you could see the real sparkle look at of that that gold see that reflect and then do you see that detail the embossed detail around that rim. It's insane. And then the, the handle, it looks like the gold has a little bit more wear on it. But hi, Lindsay. And look at the detail in the bottom. At first, I thought it was chipped. But that's actually the detail in the cup. And then it's rimmed in gold. It's stamped on the bottom. And then the plate as well, very unique how it's embossed. And then do you see how like it scoops down right there? It is so, so very beautiful. And this is Richmond Bavaria, Z, S, and C. So pretty. So pretty. Maybe, I'll, you know what? I need to like take some of my... Uh, teacups like that and just drink like a small cup of coffee in it and just feel fancy one morning. Okay. Uh, I'll show you the couple things. Oh, look it. I got this for myself. Is this not? Amazing. So this is super old. This says like S Deeches or something. I don't know. But like the, this part of the frame is actually like some kind of like cloth. I don't even know. Look at that. You see it? It's some kind of cloth. I don't know. And the picture, I was like, that's my that's mine. It was $7.99 and I didn't care because it's so, so beautiful. I cannot wait to put that somewhere in our home. And then you guys look at what I found for $12.99. This is going to go on my front porch. It's going to have a swag on it for Christmas. Do you see this? This is all aluminum on the top. 
It's a Birdo. And it was $12.99. I cannot wait to put like a Christmas swag on the top. Oh, this is, I just, I can't believe it. Oh, my dad pointed it out. And I got it. Okay. The hymnals. I know a lot of you guys know fair for keeping that. Sorry, Elaine. That would have been crazy expensive to ship. And I don't think anybody would have wanted to pay that. Um, so some of the ones that I, I'm keeping these for my booth just because they are based in Kansas. Like they were, I think, printed in Kansas. Topeka, Kansas for the printing. Yeah. So these were gospel um, song pamphlets. And they were all composed by Herbert Buffum and his wife and others. So I just, so there's, are these one, two, and three? I think these are one, two, and three. So these say gospel herald songs. And then these just say Buffum's special. And these were, um, you're like, I don't, I don't want to see them if I can't buy them. I know. 1944 were the number threes. Number two was 1938. And then the purple, which was printed completely different. So this one, uh, 1935. Wasn't the other one 33? What did I just say? No, 38. So I kept these since they were printed in Kansas for the booth because I thought somebody would be able to connect with them in that way. Um, okay, so I got this one, Tabernacle Hymns number three. There we go. And it's a beautiful dark green. It has been loved throughout the years. So be careful if you have gotten this book. And then there is the back. This one, oh, hmm. you guys, there's something about books that just makes this girl crazy. I love it. Okay. This one was printed in, this one, where are you? Copyright. This one was 1929 and made in the USA. It even has some writing. It looked like somebody was doing math on here. Um. And yeah, the page, it, it's old. I don't even want to like play with the pages, but this one was 1929. I found all of these. Hey, Nursey. Hey, Elizabeth. I found all of these on Marketplace. One lady selling all of them. Then I got this choir book or chorus book. And this one's also Kansas City, but I decided I was going to just sell it on here. This one's 1941. Happy Melody. And I thought that was really cool and unique. If it doesn't sell on the website, I'll probably um, put it in the booth since it's Kansas. Somebody, you know, when you look at books, they tell a story and it tells you like how much somebody truly loved something and somebody loved this book. Like they loved it enough to tape it up and do whatever they could to preserve it. And this one, Songs We Sing Complete. And as you can see, somebody loved this. They taped this up and they were not willing to let go of this. Like they even, like even the back is taped, but then it looks like they or no, it's just stuck. So there, they like taped it all. And then it even has a little kid drawing in there. But this one was from, this one's actually Fort Worth, Texas, 1954. So not as old and obviously very, very loved. This is the book of favorite songs. And this one was printed in... Oh, my eyeballs. All right. 1946 was the last print of this one. Then we have, don't I have another one that looks similar to that? Yep. Yeah. Look at how crazy the difference of these books are, you guys. Is that not 
the craziest thing. Yes, they, they're all hymnals, you guys, all of them. So, except, I mean, the choir book, but there are, it's uh, religious songs in there. So, yeah. No tears in heaven when the roll is galled up upon God calling yet if we never meet again. So that's the red one. So this one is almost the same book, but this one, it looks like a little critter went to it, but in my eyes, I do not care because it just, I don't know, it adds character to it. This one was published in, where are you? I know I found you. I'm trying to be very careful with these pages. This one was 1923, made in the USA. The first Noel Largo, the last rose of summer flowed gently. Darling Nellie Gray, Old Black Joe, Anvil Chorus, just before the battle. So there is that one. And then we have this Songs You Love, number six. And I thought this was really cool. And it actually goes for a bit of money on eBay. But favorite gospel songs used on the back to the Bible broadcast, which I thought was pretty um, unique for that to be like a broadcasted, you know, like book to sing along with. And that was copyright 1961. Now getting into some older ones. We have the Pentecostal hymns, number three. What does that say again? Oh my gosh, my eyeballs. I worship the Lord in the, oh my, beauty of his. You guys, I can't even read that. I can't. Hi, Heather. And this one was, geez, my eyes are so blurry. 1902, 1902. Imagine what this book has seen, you guys. Imagine. Here's this beauty. Hymns for his praise number two. And I love the book. Like, I love the cover, like the material. It's just paper and I love it. Um, where are you? My eyes are getting blurry. Sorry, you guys. Oh, what was that? I don't know if I found, um, the copyright on this one. I don't know if I did. It's on the listing. I feel like I found them for all of them, but I don't see it, but my eyes are getting blurry. So I don't know. So here's that one. And then there is this one, and this is New Songs of Praise and Power, number one. Oh, again, I love the covers of these. And this one was copyright 19, you guys, sorry. I have to squint, 1919, I think. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. And I love it all. Sorry, gosh, my eyes don't usually get that bad. And then there's Calvary Hymns. Again, these covers, look at Somebody like taped this one up. Even the tape. Oh, I love it. Copyright 1925. Songs with a gospel message. And I love how it says, for use in churches, schools, young people's meetings, uh, general singing. So there's that one. And then this is the one I kept for myself. So, um, and I kept it. There goes Hank. Because it was printed in, you guys, I'm going to use my camera to blow this up. 1891. Being that Hank, I swear that I'm 
I have to be careful. This thing's almost coming off. Look at that. Mm, 1891, you guys. 1919 was the other book. Okay. So I kept this one for myself. It doesn't have a back page or anything, but something that old, you guys know that um, if you've been with me for a while that I collect um, books. So seeing how old this was, I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. So I kept that one. And that is our haul, you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for all of you who have checked out the website, made purchases. I cannot wait to ship them out to you so you get all of your goodies. I know a lot of you were excited about those hymnal books. So I'm so glad that I scored those on Facebook Marketplace. And I hope you guys have an amazing, it's Victorian. That is so cool when you say it like that, Ruthie. That is so, so cool. So you guys, if you have any friends that you think would enjoy thrift hauls, then make sure to share this video out. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow all of that fun stuff. And I will have another video out on Saturday and then Tuesday. Erin, thank you so much for dropping all those links, girly. I know that you work hard doing that. So I appreciate you all. And I hope you have a good evening. Now off to my sick baby for bath time. After that, John and I are going to eat some dinner finally. Um, so I appreciate you all so much from the bottom of my heart. And I always, always, always enjoy being here with you and talking about something we all love to do, which is thrift. So bye, you guys. Have a good one.